Hi team, hi gang. Uh, welcome to day eight, second week of pumpkin spiced mini series and you guys have smashed through the first five days of plowing um, and now we're kind of in the midst of exploring this um, 15 minute meditation practice and kind of seeing how that gels with everyday life, how you can squeeze it into your daily routine um, and hopefully feeling the benefit of it, whether you've kind of moved to doing these in the evening, pre-bed, or when you get home from work, just as a real like de-stress, um, get rid of all those kind of bad vibes or anything that's been working up throughout the day um, and just to really give yourself a few moments of calm. Uh, whenever you're doing them, I hope you're enjoying them and I hope you're feeling the benefit. We've done two really nice uh, kind of exercises and methods to, med to guided meditation um, the past two days. Today we're going to stick with that theme um, but we're going to change it up slightly and we're going to go for a little more visualisation. So uh, I want you to come into this really open-minded, have a really open mind, open heart and we're going to see if we can just create a technique and gain some control over our, our mind and our thoughts and our emotions um, by <laughs> With, with the help, obviously, um, by just really kind of finding a little space of calm and using the mind just to really, with intent, push away any bad energy um, and get rid of any kind of bad feelings there. So take a seat on your mat. I've gone full meditation mode with a blanket today, which is absolutely fine too. Looks like Steve's staying for the long haul as well. So with uh, on your mat, I just want you to come to a seated position but facing long ways so that we can hug the knees into the chest and just one at a time, take a really big squeeze of the knee, hug it in towards you and pull the foot off the floor just to give the hip flexor a really nice little release. Think about taking an inhale breath sitting tall, squeezing the knee in towards the shoulder. And then exhaling, pulling it back down, change sides, do that with the other leg, breathe in tall, lift the chest, roll the shoulders down, squeeze the knee into the chest, and then exhale, pop it down. Next time, go with hands either underneath the backs of the knees or hugging into you. Take a big hug of both knees into your chest, see if you can pull either onto the tiptoes or squeezing both knees into the floor, hug in like a little ball. Breathe in, sit tall. Exhale, really big squeeze to the chest. And then either using your hands, going one at a time, or taking a nice big rocking motion. I want you to rock like a ball onto the floor. Allow the head to rest. Allow the knees just to take a few more rocks into the chest and up and down. Just easing out through the lower back. This is uncomfortable, then you can keep with rocking the knees maybe just from side to side, a little gentler. Or you just take that ease through. And that really nice kind of rippling, massaging effect of your weight into your lower back, into the floor. Maybe take it into a little circle, go one direction, just as big or as small as feels good for your pelvis and your spine. And then a couple of times back the other way. All about just feeling and finding those places of tension, any kind of stress points that we've built up throughout our day or our night's sleep maybe, and just easing them out. So we tend to hold a lot of stress in our lower back. And this kind of massage of the back onto the floor is gonna feel really nice just for loosening that feeling. When you're ready, Keep your right knee hugged into you. Allow the left leg to drop and go nice and long to the floor. Squeeze that right knee in again, this time getting a little bit more range. Think inhale, knee towards the shoulder, give it a big squeeze. And then exhale, release it down. Take it all the way long to the floor. Inhale, go for the left knee, hug it in towards you, give it a big old squeeze. Really hug it tight to the chest. And then exhale, take it long. Take the right knee in again, hug it to you, a little squeeze here. And then I want you to bring both hands to the outer part of the right knee and the right thigh. 
and start to drag that leg across your body. Grounding through the shoulders, keeping the right arm down to the floor, long to the side of you if you've got space. Drag the right knee all the way across you until your pelvis lifts, but the shoulder stays grounded. And we get this really lovely stretch and twist going all the way through the lower back and the outer part of the hip. If you make it, allow your foot just to touch to the floor gently for a little bit of support. If you can go a little further, you might be able to get the knee or the shin on the floor, but only as long as your shoulder blades stay grounded. So that's what's going to give us the lovely twist and release down the side of the leg. Start to soften your eye gaze, or maybe close them if it feels good here. And maybe just turn your head to look down your back arm. So we feel that twist come all the way up through the lower back, through the upper back and around the shoulder blades, and then into the neck as well. Finding a nice big long twist in the spine. Inhale and hold the stretch. Exhale, feel your body going a little softer into the floor with every breath. Inhale, roll the back into the floor. Find through centre position, just allow that right leg to go long. And take the left knee in once more, up to the chest, do a little squeeze. Inhale, hands to outer thigh, gently draw the leg over. And take your time here, just to feel into that stretch and that twist through the lower back. If you find a little pinpoint or a little sticking point in that movement, hold it for a moment. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, allow that sticking point or that tension just to dissipate throughout the body. And then inhale, exhale, go a little further. Reach that back arm along, allow the eye gaze to find to the fingertips. And then soften the eye gaze or maybe let them close as your head feels relaxed. The shoulder blades feel grounded and supported by the floor. And as your toes, maybe your foot, maybe a little higher up the shin, find the floor on the other side. Enjoy that stretch into the hips. You should be feeling this one just very gently down the outer part of the thigh, into the glute knee here, back in the side of the hip, getting a lovely gentle release. Finding softness in these stretches. Inhale, come back through centre just one last time. And for our final stretch before we find our most comfortable position, I want you to bring the soles of your feet together. Heels in as close as the, to the hips as feels right for you. Exhale with the soles of the feet together. Just allow the knees to drop open and wide. And maybe take your hands to your inner thigh or to your knees, just to encourage them to drop open. This is your butterfly stretch. We're feeling the stretch in the open through the pelvis, the inner thigh, the internal hip rotators. And if you can hold this pose for just a few moments longer, a few more breaths, see if you can create that opening feeling in your upper body forearms together, palms on the elbows, drop the arms overhead, allowing the shoulders to ground, and the rib cage, the front of the shoulders, down the arms to feel open to the sky. We can start to close our eyes and start to take that little mental scan of your body, starting at your toes and your feet, Scanning up through the legs to the abdomen, around the shoulders and down the arms, and then up through the neck, the head, and your facial expression. Keep allowing any sticking points you find in that mental scan that feel like they're holding tension, just to soften. If you can't do that using your mind, then see if bringing a little bit of movement to those places helps. Maybe taking a bigger, longer inhale breath. 
And then using your exhale just to push that tension away and out of your body. Take one more breath here. Exhale, soft. Feel the slowing of the heart rate, the shallowing of the breath. Acknowledge your body moving into this relaxed, meditative state. And as you slowly and gently move your body on the floor, allow your arms to come down by your hips, palms turn up, fingertips curl soft. Allow your legs to stretch one at a time. And as they are long to the floor, allow the feet to just drop out to the sides, allowing the inner part of the leg to be open to the ceiling. Think about your spine, how you're supported here by your shoulder blades and your hips and your pelvis. You've got that light little pocket of air underneath the lower back. Acknowledge that same pocket of air underneath the back of the neck. Or the back of our head feels supported on the floor. Relax through the jaw. Relax around the eyes, the mouth and the face. Relax through those points furthest away from your midsection, your fingertips and your toes. As you feel that sense of calm wash over your body. Allow your thoughts to come inward. Focusing on what you can see through your mind's eye here. Often when we keep our eyes closed, but focus into the centre of the mind, we draw our attention to our third eye. The place just between your eyes and your eyebrows. And the centre of all your thoughts here. Acknowledge what you can see through closed eyes, whether it's darkness, whether it's light, there is no right or wrong answer. Whatever your mind and your third eye choose to create here. It might be a colour, it might be a shade, it could be still or it could be moving. It could be a blank canvas, or it could be a pattern, a series of swirls. Try not to think about one single thing, place or person. Focus on your breath and allowing your mind to relax. And the images or colours that are created by this feeling of meditation. As we acknowledge the pattern or colours that we see here through our third eye. Just allow your mind and your thoughts to be mesmerised by this place. By the patterns or colours that you're seeing here through. As you allow the mind to become mesmerised by this place, this pattern or colour. We hold no other thoughts or emotions. We hold no stresses or plans. We hold no focus on what's coming in the week ahead, or what we've left behind in the week that's passed. We are entirely present in this moment, and the feeling that our presence brings is portrayed here through the colour or pattern 
that you see through your third eye. Allow your body and your mind to be still. Allow your focus to be here. Right in the center of your mind and your face. Allow everything else outside of that place right between your eyebrows on your forehead to just become irrelevant for these next few moments and you are here and you are still with the intention to just be in this moment Through the images that you can see here, right in the center of your headspace, start to awaken those images, imagining a beam of light shining through and drawing energy from that beam of light down into your belly. As you feel that energy draw into your belly, the center of your body, Think about drawing the breath down to meet it. Inhale long and deep down. Let the belly button expand. Exhale soft like a sigh. Allow the old energy to leave your body as the new energy arrives. Feeling that energy move down to the outer parts of the body, start to wiggle the fingertips and the toes, moving through the wrists and the shoulders, or maybe drawing the knees in one at a time, hug them back into you, and take that little rock again here, just to replace that feeling in the spine, that little movement, that little release of tension, up and down with the hips, or maybe circles one way and the other. Holding this feeling of meditation for just as long as we can, press or rock your body back into your seated position. Any way that feels comfortable for you, with the knees out wide or the legs out long. Take your hands, press them into your thighs or your knees, just give a few little pushes here with exhale breath. Ground all that lovely energy you've got flowing through your body into your legs. All the time when we create this lovely energy flow, it gets lost and it kind of shoots out where we don't need it to be. It becomes a little fuzzy. You want to ground that energy back into your body and feel just how wonderful you've allowed your body to be here. Take an inhale breath, draw the shoulders up. Take an exhale breath as they go back and down. Allow yourself to sit tall. Take a moment just to rock out through the neck and the head, very gently, very slowly. Try not to go past the midpoint of the shoulders. Take a couple of little rocks from side to side, ease out any tension here. And then as your chin draws to your chest, take another inhale breath. Take up the shoulders, exhale, roll them back and down. And as they drop in your chin, starts to lift, open your eyes. Take a moment just to resettle. Acknowledge everything that you can see around you in the room. 
and take a lovely sighing exhale breath and just give yourselves a mental little round of applause for what you've done there today i'm so proud of you all anybody who's been doing this on the on and off if you're jumping in and jumping out but especially if you've committed and you've done eight days in a row um, and that's super, super cool. And you're learning a new skill, hopefully, or maybe honing a skill that you've already got. Um, but you're just making time, even 15 minutes a day, just for yourself and to do something that's hopefully going to be really beneficial for your body um, and for your mind as well, um, especially in the hard time that we're currently in. It's not so applicable if you're watching this at a future date, but right now we're in the middle of second lockdown. Um, and everything on the outside is a little fuzzy and chaotic. So it's nice to know that we can invite a feeling of calm and of being present inside our body so that we feel less affected by everything that's going on outside. Super job. Lots of love to everybody out there um, that's doing these videos and I will see you tomorrow. Otherwise, have a lovely, lovely day or sleep. <laughs>